Well hey guys, I just wanted to give you an update on my aquaponics system and um, one of the things that I've always been guilty of is over planting and as you can see it's pretty full in my two small containers and um, as a result of that the roots have taken over inside and you can now see the water is just laying on the top it's um, it's not filtering through the stones, it's just laying right on the top there and um, creating like a pond on top. So I've now decided I'm going to give it a real thin out, clean all the uh, stones, get rid of the roots. It's going to be sad to see my nice big celery and I've still got a green pepper growing right there. But unfortunately uh, the strawberries I'm not happy with either, these are a wild winter strawberry. And although I'm getting plenty of fruit, um, you can see they're really small. Um, like I say, they produce plenty, but these tiny little strawberries are hardly worth the effort. Uh, so they're all going to go and I'm going to get some uh, regular um, strawberries in there and be a little bit more selective with, uh, with my planting. And um, it's, it's the bigger plants, obviously the uh, capsicum, pepper plant and the uh, tomatoes uh, the roots get real deep and take over and also as you can see these strawberries have got very very bushy and took over a lot of planting space there so we're gonna have a good clean out a good fish out and uh, you can see my tank there it's probably about I don't know about half full with water Let's see if I can get an angle and show you there um, that's about three weeks of evaporation um, plus the water is sitting in the tanks, um, not filtering through. So I'm going to give it a good clean, top up the water. Fish are doing great down there. They love it. The water's really clean. And they've got massive. They're just at and at and at and grown. So I'm uh, going to get ready for my summer month. Most of you in the Northern Hemisphere are coming to the end of your growing season. I'm just starting mine. So uh, I'm going get, to get ready. And I'm also going to look at my outside turning all my balcony into more aquaponics. Okay, well, I'm gonna get ready to start stripping. As you can see by this strawberry, it's got a hell of a root ball on it, and that's just one plant. And I've got ugh, way, way too many plants in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake it in the bucket, uh, get all these stones out the best as I can. And uh, sorry to say, but the strawberry's gone. Okay, on with a clean. Uh, you can see the first pot is uh, nearly empty and uh, it's basically just turned it into a big soddy clay mess like all these stones are so uh, intermatted with roots and dirt and where it hasn't been filtering properly and it's just turned into a bog um, it really is pretty untidy um, maybe I should have done this a lot lot earlier but um, we'll clean this right through clean all the pipes out and uh, you can see it's not even draining at all even though there's a uh, drain hole uh, that I've got at the bottom there it's just blocked so uh, got a lot of work to do here and then uh, this one next as well okay as you can see they're all nicely cleaned out cleaned all the pipes and uh, put all back together nice one of the things I did do is um, at the bottom here my little downpipe um, I have a little drain away hole right at the very base of that tube the inner tube there and um, it was very very small and it got blocked so I just ran a little small drill piece through um, made that little bit larger so it keeps soaking away when the pump goes off at night time allows the whole tank to slowly drain back into the system gives the uh, take a chance to stay dry uh, I did manage to maintain this one little uh, parsley plant there it seems to still be doing good and its uh, roots are not that big and I'm probably going to grow a lot more herbs, lettuce, maybe one um, small tumbling tomato plant in there um, but I'm going to be a lot more selective now and uh, try not to overcrowd it which I get excited and throw loads of seeds in there and just see what happens but um, 
I've tested my cycle and now you can see the water level is here it's going up to about here and then flushing through and uh, I've got both of them running nicely and before with all the roots in you couldn't even see where the water level was it was just completely stagnant and uh, the water's got a bit cloudy today from all the washing I did yesterday a lot of the uh, I cleaned the pumps and the filters as well so that's put a lot of uh, pulp back into the tank but anyway yep there it is and uh, I'll give you an update in a month or so with my new um, growth once it's all started ready for the summer season